you will believe what's growing out of the side of this deer. I've got vet expert Dr. Maria Palomar here to help me diagnose this picture. Showcasing North Carolina's candid critters. From the Museum of Natural Sciences, it's You Won't Believe with Roland Caves. Welcome to the show. We highlight the craziest pictures from North Carolina candid critters, a citizen science project where volunteers like you help run camera traps across the state to help us learn more about our animals. And here today, I've got Dr. Maria Palomar, a wildlife veterinarian from the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission, here to help me figure out what's going on in this crazy picture. Thanks for coming, Maria. Thank you for having me, Roland. So, what's going on in this crazy picture? Actually, that it looks to me, without putting my hands on the animal, it looks to me like a cutaneous fibroma. It's really gross. It is pretty gross, and they can grow like that, just one big one, or you can have a lot of smaller ones all around the animal. So. Oh, so one animal can have lots of these? Yes, many, many of those, and they can go from like a half an inch to over eight inches in so diameter. So with a tumor this size, well, it's not a tumor, but with a, is it a tumor? No, it is not. It's not a tumor. It's actually caused by a virus, and it's similar to the virus that causes warts in humans, but this one only causes warts in deer. Okay, but certainly you wouldn't want to eat the meat if you shot one of these deer. Actually, you can eat the meat. Just be aware. So if it's if the skin on the papilloma looks fine, then you're good. You can eat the meat. Don't eat the, the papilloma, but you can <laughs> eat the rest of the animal. Uh, but sometimes what happens is that they get bacterial infections on those. And you can tell because it looks all pussy oh, and yeah. disgusting. Yeah, maybe that's an animal that you don't want to eat, or at least that part of the muscle is one that you don't want to consume. So... With the growth of the size, this animal must be about to die. Is this dangerous to the animals? Actually, in most cases, it's not. It's just like a wart, and they will grow, and then eventually they will disappear. We have people that send us pictures of the animals with the warts and then without the warts. Uh, hmm. But sometimes they actually grow around the mouth or the eyes, and those are the ones that are more dangerous because the animal can't see very well, they can't feed very well, or sometimes they can't breathe very well. So a big, ugly wart growing out of the side of your butt. What are the other deer going to think about this animal? They are not going to worry. Deer only care about what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think a growth like this would slow the animal down, or would the virus make them sick? Are they more likely to uh, get killed by a predator? I don't think so. Not unless it's actually growing around the eyes, or sometimes it's growing in the legs and not helping. It, it, it gets in the way of movement. So in those cases, yes, that animal may be more susceptible to being caught by something else. But in most cases, they're just growing on top of the back of the animal, like you see it here, or on the neck, and it doesn't affect them in any way. It just makes them a little ugly. <laughs> in general, if it's gross, don't touch it. <laughs> It's a good rule. Is that, is, yeah. Do you learn that in vet school? Yes, yes. <laughs> or touch it with gloves. <laughs> with gloves, right, of course. Yes. So this is basically like a big wart. Um, will, is it going to fall off or will it go away or what will happen to it? Sometimes they actually will fall off. So mm -hmm. this one is so large that sometimes you see them hanging from the side of the animal and they will eventually either fall off or they get injured by a tree limb or something else and they will fall off. Could you imagine walking through the woods and just seeing one of these just laying <laughs> on the ground? I would have no idea what it was. Well, I can imagine that other animals will eat it. So oh, that's even worse. won't stay there for long. Oh, this is definitely the grossest episode we've had. <laughs> Maria, thanks so much for joining us today. That is definitely the most disgusting deer camera trap picture I have ever seen. And thanks everyone out there for watching. And remember, if you're in the state, you can go to the North Carolina Candid Critters website to sign up and volunteer for our project. We'll train you and loan you a camera trap that you can run anywhere in the state to help us learn more about mammals. Also, if you're especially interested in deer health, you can go to ncwildlife.org to learn more about deer diseases. My name's Roland Case. See wildlife, do science.